All right, day two in Kenny's shop. We're working on a C10 project and we're doing the outer rocker portion of this project. And this entails going in pretty deep to do the inner rocker, of course the outer rocker, the uh, cab braces, and then there are also some corners in the door jams that are also rotted. So last time we worked on kind of exploring and seeing how bad the rust was and how far it went. We extracted some of the old rusty metal and we started mocking up the new metal uh, that's gonna be the first things to go on. So now that that's in place, it's looking pretty good. We can scribe the old metal, cut it off, and start butt welding everything in place. We have everything mocked up. We have uh, the patch panels on there with vice grips to see where we wanna locate things and get things fitting where we'd like them. And then we're gonna weld in our new panels. So we're gonna cut out some of the uh, rusty old metal in here that's, that's mangled and scaly and rusty so we can get into some good metal back here to start putting the cab brace uh, back in. Now we're getting there. So this is really close. This is about where it's gonna go. We just have to trim away a little of the uh, rough, mod rough cut edges here and then we can get it to fit up real nice and we can start uh, butt welding it to the, uh, the original piece. In those areas where the cab braces are going and, and the metal is hidden on the bottom side of the floor, we hit those with rust encapsulator. That's going to stop the rust and also seal it up for the future. All right, so we got the probably most tedious part of this project done. Uh, the rear cab brace section where it was rusty. Uh, unfortunately, just bad luck. It was rusty in an area where all the metal kind of came together with some other braces, and that caused some problems just with uh, getting the tools in there, getting access to actually take the metal out and clean it. It was really, really difficult. So what we did is we kind of cut a little further back with the plasma cutter, uh, zipped off that metal, and then we could clean it with the sander, and we just test fit the, uh, the new brace until we got it fitting really nice. Moved on to the front one. That one's easy to get to. Uh, we sanded and trimmed and got that one up in place really well. Um, and now we can move on to the inner rocker and the floor edge. Uh, we can trim that, get that fitting well, and then we can start uh, kind of putting the puzzle pieces together and uh, getting this thing structurally sound again.
Okay, so we got the cab braces uh, cut out and spliced in. I got them all tacked in place, and we got the inner rocker, and also it doubles as the uh, outer floor edge. We got that in and tacked in place as well. Uh, what I was doing is just making sure that all the critical alignment was uh, correct and done on this, since this is uh, Kenny's first project. That's something that uh, you can make a mistake really easily, and then the, the, uh, the beads or the body lines aren't matching up and then uh, your door won't fit and everything else. So got those all set, I got it tacked in place. Now that Kenny's got a little bit of experience with welding from doing the gas filler uh, shave, he can go ahead and finish doing all the stitch welding uh, to get the braces and the inner rocker and floor welded in place. And then we can move on to the uh, door opening corners and then finally the outer rocker and we'll have the side all finished up. But I'm pretty happy with how everything's going. Uh, it's a big change from what we started with, that's for sure. It's a lot of tedious work doing a lot of fitment and trimming and fitting. Um, it's, it's time consuming, but the work pays off when you, when you take the time to do it because the end result really pays off. You can already see that the, the floor looks great and it's already lined up. Um, and it's just it's a process that you have to go through, but it, it pays off in the end. And we're slowly but surely we're getting there and it's going to look good.